Hi Mona, welcome Hi. to Ahmadiyya Muslim Community's annual convention. Thank you. And thank you for coming and taking out your time. Thank you so much. It's our pleasure. What kind of impression do you have of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community and the efforts it's taking to integrate in today's society, especially if we speak about the mm -hmm. Swedish society? I have very, very strong and very good impression of, of not only today, but of the Ahmadiyya, um, especially the word loyalty. Uh, where you can define here the loyalty towards your religion but also towards the country you are living in, Sweden. Mm. And uh, this is also a very open society that you stand for mm. and you, do, you don't uh, fear discussions. Mm. You can have dialogues even with those who don't think the same as you. Mm. And these are efforts I really appreciate. Like you just said, we, you know that you have seen that we stand for loyalty. Uh, the truth is that we work, do we, we do work day and night to promote peace, tolerance, and unity, even love. And it can be through different methods, such as keeping workshops or interfaith seminars or mm -hmm. distributing flyers. But what kind of method do you use as a political party to promote peace? And how can we work together yeah. to enhance this yeah. peace together and achieve our goal? Yeah. Uh, I, I am for sure also active in a political party, yeah. but today I'm mostly here as representative of uh, the work done by all Democrats in Sweden to try to defeat the violent extremism. Mm. So therefore it's so important to find partnership with other Muslim societies that also want to reject the violence of, of ISIS. Mm. So these are the efforts really I am working with to make coalitions and also show people with a lot of prejudice that you can't think Muslim and terror in the same sentence because we are now talking about very extreme mists. But Muslims is an important part of the Swedish society with democracy as values.